Can explain the optimal way to do the TC uh, stuff. Okay, so you want to get like one step. You want to add as little provinces as possible to the TC. Uh, I like doing it in a place with like five provinces because then you get um, a lot of value out of uh, this building. And you want that area to produce all of the trade power. So you'll want to remove the natural harbors or like uh, downgrade the harbors in other places, destroy marketplaces in other places, and make sure that this state produces all the trade, right? And then uh, you'll get goods produced bonuses in all the other provinces. And so the reason you don't want to TC everything is because then it won't apply, it only applies to non TC provinces, the goods produced. So, yeah, let's try and TC the stuff with the most trade power in it, and then you'll be good to go. I'd like to redo my merchants a little bit though, because it's kind of scuffed right now. I'm, I'm not getting any of the trade over here, for example. I need more merchants. As my capital's in the Japan trade note, you can TC almost the whole of China. Okay, let's figure out where we're going to TC then. I think we should TC this area. Sucks about the full quarries, but... I do need the extra merchants. Okay, right, we already got one. Perfect. Fix that later. And then over here, I think we should TC this area. And maybe that one. Uh, it feels like a bit of a waste, so I'm gonna TC this thing. And then next month I can use the edict on it. And then we should get an extra merchant out of that as well. Yeah, boy. Perfect. Alright, uh, so we put you in here. Because there's eight ducats that can flow into Beijing. I also need to move my trading capital here. And then over here, I think we TC this. I think we TC this. So again, it's five provinces. You want to do a big state. Not but particularly valuable goods. So. And hopefully building the thing should... Do the trick for me there. Just pick trade ideas. No, because look, hold on. There's no, this is the most optimal way to do it. Also, if I pick trade, you, it's a full idea group that I'm wasting away. I don't need to pick trade, I can just get the TCs. But now, this little place is getting 20. 33.5% goods produced because I made this into a TC. It's totally worth it. And we just got our extra merchant again. So I'm gonna park you down here. This is, I think is a beautiful state as well to TC. Yeah, let's do it. This has two centers and an estuary. And that will give me an extra merchant instantly. I don't even need to ex spend any money on that. Wait, that's not gonna give me an extra merchant. Oh, that's bizarre. Okay. But trade quantity is 20% goods fruit. Yeah, now you're talking two ideas. <laughs> Although I already have quantity, but it still needs the harbor upgrade. Any reason not to TC everything? Yes, you get way less manpower out of it. And there's my extra merchant, so still want to park you over here. And then we move our trading capital to Beijing. But the one that, the thing I would want to TC here is this state. So the other provinces get the maximum amount of TC power. Did you just put your capital? No, it's not my capital, it's my trade capital. But yeah, I did move it there. I just need to kill Wu. I just need to kill Wu, and then we'll be fine. But you wanted to put it- I wanted to put it in the Beijing node. It doesn't matter where you put it in the node, as long as you put it somewhere in the node. So now if I do things like this, uh, upgrade, the, like look at the goods produced right now, so it's... 
plus uh, 33.2%. And now we go do this. And we build the marketplace here. And now it's going to go up even more. 32%. So, and now what we'd want to do is we'd want to make sure that the provinces over here get less trade power. So if I destroy this marketplace, goods produced is going to go up again. See? So that's what you want to do. And that's why you always DC something if you have the possibility to do it. And then only do one state with as many provinces as you can because the provinces will get a flat trade power bonus from this. And then you can um, build the marketplaces there, make sure you destroy the marketplaces and other places, and then you make tons of money. Isn't it better to trans- no, because if I transfer this trade, right now I'm getting 37% of the money, right? That's mine, that money is mine, 100%, right? If I do this, I'm gonna send 50% of the trade power, because the trade power will increase. I can show you, but it's probably not gonna make me more. Uh, it actually did make me a docket, I think. Hold on, let me go check. No. Let's just go check again. But once I kill Wu, that is better. But I'm losing... Okay, let's go collect for trade again. Yeah, it just keeps going up every month. Uh, so it's kind of difficult to tell what's better. It's very marginal though, in any case. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, yeah, you know what? Fact of the matter is, once I kill Wu, it's gonna be better. Let's do it again. Let's see if it keeps going up. <laughs> it's not an infinite money hack. I can explain why it's doing this too. No, I can't. All right, give me the, give me the. Alright, let's see. Hey, okay, now it went down again. I think transferring might be better in that case. Because it does boost the trade power that we have in here. And transferring now. And we were collecting before. Okay, it went up by a little bit. But yeah, I'm losing. So this, I'm stealing more from Japan if I do this. But then over here, I'm losing 43%. Or how much am I losing? Because the Shun trade power is also flowing it up north and so is Ming for some reason so realistically there's more trade power being sent forward but uh, you lose 47% but I think the trade power in Nippon is not big enough to merit collecting there but yeah once I kill Wu there's no question I'll make more isn't it always better no no it's not always better if you have more trade power in the in the next trade notes you know what's you know what's better I'll tell you what's better. Just try. That's better. Because there's uh, a lot of different, like, little intricacies to think about. But it's not always better. Yes, you add value. You add trade power. And, yeah, the money increases. The trade power increases. But then over in the next node, you need to share the money. You just have to try it. You just have to try it. It takes like five seconds. People generally transfer too much. Okay. Or think transferring is better than what it is. Because you think like, oh yeah, I'll just transfer everything. I need to transfer it to where my home node is because that's where I make money. And then you do that, you lose 50% of the trade along the way. And then it's like, oh, well. But the number went up. Numbers go up. It's good. 60 to 70% of the... Yeah, but even then, I don't know. And right now I've got 52. So how would you explain this situation? Honestly, the best thing to do is just try. Just just do it. Just try. Right. And then it also depends on if, if like, if I had 50% here, that also changes things. Because we have almost monopolized this. It's also different. So... Just try it. Trial and error. Best node, you know, or English Channel? Pretty sure English Channel has more potential. But you know, it's a lot easier. 
to make rich. But English Channel is way more potential. It's more stuff that can flow into it. Like if you did a world conquest, you can make the English Channel bigger than you can make Genoa. Because everything that's going into Genoa will at some point go through Sevilla. And all the trade that goes into Sevilla can also go into the English Channel, right? So Sevilla is equal. Then from the other direction, you have uh, a lot of trade needs to pass through Ragusa, right? That's the other thing. But Ragusa can then either instantly go into Genoa or it can be sent up through Germany, which means it goes through another six, seven nodes and that increases the value by a lot. So anything that can go into the English Channel, English Channel is just better, okay? Has more potential. But Ragusa, Ragusa can go to Germany and then there's like five or six more nodes where it can go flow into. Someone made a map of it. And Jado has like one to two less nodes that flow into. I mean, it's just... But anything that can go into Sevilla can go into... But obviously Sevilla itself can't go into the English Channel. Can Tunis go into the... <laughs> no, Tunis can't go into the English Channel, fine. And neither can the Sahel. I guess. If I have an end node, but it isn't my trade capital, will I still get money if there's no merchant collecting? No, you will not. You need to either make it your trade capital or have a guy sitting there. Just because it's an end node doesn't mean you get a free collection. And we just got an extra merchant. Nice. Um, so I've got one in you, I've got one in you, I've got one in you. You're doing the right thing. Perfect. Could tell him to go in here, but I'm gonna sell him to go to you, man and to steal half of the money that Mongolia is stealing back. But yeah, we could tell him to go to Beijing. I don't know about that though. I want to dev this place. And also check the marketplaces. So we've got two marketplaces up here that need to be deleted because they're in the wrong spot. And I'm going to make this into a World Trade Center because screw that guy. Yeah. Um, Already... Wait, what happened to the... Okay. I want to dev this place. Uh, if I'm going to dev it this much, I should probably build the Korean district. There you go. And this is all equal, right? Yeah, it's all equal. See, and now the goods produced is going to be like 50% or some shit. 50% goods produced. Look at that. Very sexy. And uh, we got more trade power in there. Yeah, we've got a very rich country because we did the TC stuff correctly. How much difference this would make? This is not going to make um, that much of a difference, I don't think. Let's see. Uh, 88. Yeah, now it's going to say like 100 because of some other thing. Uh, it made me 1.2. That's actually a pretty good deal for the amount of money that you spend on it. I, I don't want to statify this. We want to add this to TC. Well, give me an extra merchant and also get more money. Give me the trade power increase. Perfect. Do we have the buildings here? We do. Have we upgraded Hangzhou to the max? We did not. Can we upgrade this thing too? Yeah, sexy times. All right, perfect. Yeah, the TC will be slightly stronger, that's true. Where do I park my... I think we park it in Beijing directly, so we get the 10% bonus. Yeah. Okay. Did he TC all of India and Persia or just the trade center? So, before coal, you do not TC everything. You only TC the trade centers. And then you do the thing where you make the, the stuff that you TC'd really high trade power and you try to minimize the amount of trade power everywhere else. After coal mines, I think it's better to just TC everything so that you can apply the flat goods produced everywhere because this gives flat goods produced. And then the coal mine bonus will apply to the fact flat goods produced. And you also get way more manpower out of it because you should build the governor general mansion. So the autonomy here is like 55. 
155 minimum. Yeah, so we get way more manpower. And then you can build this building as well, the military administration, which just gave me 2k extra manpower a month. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Uh, so, yeah, have a good one. And uh, there's that.